welcome to my channel. On this channel I will be talking about my life with a disability called Developmental Language Disorder, also known as DLD. I am not a professional in the area, so basically it will be the personal view of the condition. See the subscribe button somewhere around here? Please use it as it helps me. And why don't you ring the bell as well? That will mean that you will get a notification every time that I post a new video. If you ha have already been here before, then welcome back. So, in this video, I will be talking about my speech therapy when I was young. I will also show, try to show a video of a speech therapist talking about what they do in their session. So, without further ado, let's get into this week's video. For my pretend snack time today, I've got pretzels and an apple. Um, and we'll think about, you know, depending on the kind of snack that you've chosen, there's a few different ways that we want to approach it to make the most of that communication. I've chosen an apple because often children like their apple cut up and that might be most feasible for them, whatever stage they're at. And so you might want to choose whether you have your apple like this so that chopping up the apple is part of the thing that captivates your child's interest. My speech therapy started when I was about two to four years old. Luckily, my grandmother, she was a speech therapist and she knew what was wrong with me and managed to help my mum get the support that she needed. My speech, actual speech therapist, because my grandmother couldn't um, do the sessions because she was family, was a, a speech therapist called Mary Corkman Davis. She was a speech therapist for the stroke victims. From what I can remember, from mostly from when I had my speech therapy at school, I had to say the words in the phonetic alphabet, like, for example, A for bat ant, B for bat for cat, etc. My mom had to get me at, up at 6am and get me to practice the homework that the speech therapist gave me by bribing me with chocolate drops. And with the, the speech therapist and being in London, I wouldn't allow my mum to go down the M1 as I was terrified of the motorway, so she had to go down the A5. I would spend a day with the, the speech therapist and we would go through that day's exercise and when we left uh, uh, we would have more homework to practice. This would uh, continue throughout my younger life until I went off to school. I went to secondary to my secondary school when I was uh, 10 years old where I continued with the speech therapy as well as the 
lessons which we have we all have to do in school. At the school my speech therapy was the same would consist of the same as when I was with Mrs. Corkman Davis and reading books aloud. I don't think I had any homework for this speech therapy, but I honestly can't remember. Anyway, this is an excellent place to stop, and that all that has left me to say is the following. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will do my best, and I do try my best, and hope that it helps you in some way or another. Again, thank you for subscribing, and if you haven't, please do so, as it does help me, and it, and you'll get more videos like this. Have a good week and see you in the next video where I will be talking about Aphasic, the charity that I am a vice president of and their Christmas carols concerts. Peace out.